in this video we are going to see what is the difference between custom input and our ui path forms let's create a basic ui path form i'll add my input form so so what is the difference between ui path form designer and the custom input that we have discussed in the previous video well in this ui path form designer let's see with the options we have input form fields collection where we can give input to the form and ui path has given us flexibility and we need not bother much about the design of the form well the design is created from ui path we just need to drag and drop few activities that are already predefined and we can give custom inputs like we can send the data into the form well for now i didn't find out any way to send the data into the custom input form so if you see in the custom input form we don't have any place where we can add the data into the existing form if you see here we have created a input form using custom input which has three fields first name last name and age let's create the same use case with the help of form designer so let's i'm opening a form designer all i need to give is a text field would be nice so this text field will be first name which can be given as first name next one text area again which can be the last name and one more text area which can be age so in this particular form designing we can even do some validations so in the validation we can check what is the minimum length what is the maximum length we can directly give all these values without having any coding knowledge let's save this and let's see with the preview form so we have all the fields that are available within seconds first name last name and age we have we also have a submit button where we can give all the values and we can click on submit there are some pretty good themes that are available in ui path form designer we can use it right away and we can design all our forms so let's close hit it close see the preview close let's save this one and let's close the form designer now that's it your form is ready let's send this message as a message box in the results from this form designer can be taken out from this field form output we can also see if the form is dismissed or not is dismissed and what which button maybe instead of submit button we have created multiple buttons we can also know which button that we have pressed or which button the user have clicked taking all this into consideration let's give out a message box which says all the values so in the message box we have text in the caption let's give as button clicked in the buttons we do not give anything in the text let's give it as output str so here we have form output let's give out the text as form output and that's it and it should be fine so we have form output and button clicked let's run this form so we have two forms now one form which is created using html the second form which is created using ui path form designer let's debug this form since only one foreground process can be executed let me close this simple form 
and debug. Excellent. So we have a great design and everything is available for us. And let me give my name again. And seven submit. Okay. So we have the name in the message box, which is submit. We clicked on submit and we have all the values like the first name, what values we have passed. Which one will you prefer? Will you prefer custom input or Will you prefer your path form designer? We need to see how we can add HTML elements more flexible coding with your path form designer, which I'll be coming up in my next videos. Like, share and subscribe. Vajram Talks.